it is now 2024 and this is the perfect year to set high standards for yourself. Chase your dreams, do what you love and get better at it. If you are watching this video, chances are you are already interested in gaming or game development. So I challenge you to create your first commercial game this year if you haven't made one already. This year, I'm going to create my first commercial game, but I'll talk more about that in another video. In this video, I've created generalized steps to help guide you through the three stages of game development. The pre-production stage, the prototyping stage, and the production stage. This guide is perfect for solo developers and developers working in teams. However, you'll be able to work faster if you have a talented friend or two that are interested in this. So you can share the workload and have someone to keep you accountable. Depending on the number of your team and your work efficiency, I think you can create a strong commercial game in about six months, three months or a year using this process. Before we begin, I want to say that you can use any game engine and software of your choice. The tool is only as good as its user. So feel free to use any tool you are comfortable with. If you want some recommendations from me, you can check this video after you're done watching this one. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step in game development is the pre-production stage. I am sure you are not surprised to hear that to make a game, you have to have at least a concept of what you want to make. The first step is defining your vision. What kind of game do you want to create? What's the core concept and what makes it unique? Having a clear vision will guide your decisions throughout the development process. Maybe you want to make a game inspired by something you played in your childhood. Maybe you want to create a new genre or maybe you want to chase a trend and make money from the hottest genre right now. The concept is up to you. I would however encourage you to make something you are passionate about. Game dev is one of the hardest things to do and your passion will help make sure this game you're making isn't part of your collection of unfinished games. Next up is research and inspiration. Play the games that inspire you and analyze the mechanics, what works well and what could be improved. This research will help you refine your ideas and set realistic goals. Create a detailed design document and outline the gameplay mechanics. This is also the time to assemble your tools and resources. Once you have a solid plan, it's time to jump into the prototyping stage. Build a basic version of your game to test the core mechanics and get a feel for the gameplay. Prototyping helps you identify if your game concept is fun early on. While making your mechanics, make sure you make them modular. That way, you can easily add, remove, or change a mechanic without wrecking everything. Have fun in this stage. Make all the systems you want to make. You should not waste time in this stage. If a particular mechanic is giving you a headache, skip it for now and go to the next one. Make sure you have created most, if not all, the systems and mechanics that would be in your game. In this stage, you should be able to know your strengths and weaknesses and make your game play to your strengths. After you are done with prototyping, quickly put all the mechanics together in one experimental level and give it to a handful of your target audience to play around with. See what your audience says about your systems and mechanics and what they ask you to fix, add or remove. Modify your mechanics and give it back to them to gauge their feedback. Repeat this step until you are satisfied with your game prototype. You made it to the production stage. Now is the time to make the proper levels and stages for your game and also a time to market it like hell. Go on now, make the levels, integrate the story, use better assets, polish your game, and add the necessary game juice. But don't forget to take screenshots, make teasers, sell what makes your game unique, and build up your audience. You should make the first few levels of your game and give it to your handful of testers, noting the observations and expressions. Testing is crucial for identifying bugs and refining gameplay. Get feedback from playtesters and be ready to iterate on your design. This is where making your mechanics modular pays off as it's easy to reiterate level designs with modular systems and mechanics. A polished game often goes through multiple rounds of testing and refinement. 
if you are satisfied with your testing, complete the game, but this time, test it again with a larger pool of your audience to catch bugs and to give you some suggestions for quality of life improvements. After this, you can release your game. Congratulations, you have a game fit for the market. You already have a strong marketing. Marketing. Congratulations, you have a game fit for the market. You already have a strong marketing campaign for the game. What you have to do now is tease your publishing date, set the price for your game, and finally release it to your preferred marketplace. Releasing the game is in the end because now you would have even more feedback, and bugs you couldn't find prior would be found. You have to support your game to build trust with your audience. Make them know they are being heard by fixing any issues or bugs they might be having. Give your game a few months of support. If the game is a crazy success, it might have to be longer. This is a general roadmap that can help you in making your game in 2024, regardless of whether you are developing for desktop, consoles or mobile. Keep in mind that every game development journey is unique, so feel free to modify it according to your preferences and add your own timelines for each stage. Thank you for watching and have a great time in 2024. If you found my video helpful, please leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already. I would also love to hear what you think about this video and what your game development goals are, so feel free to share them in the comments. I'll be discussing what an indie game is in my next video, so see you then.